Well, now in its 16th year, the Caribbean Tales Film Festival celebrates the talents of established and emerging filmmakers of Caribbean and African heritage who practice their art worldwide. The film festival director, Diana Webley, joins us this morning on Morning Live with what we can expect to see. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. So many stories out there. Are the films out there, though, uh, curating this during a pandemic? Yes, so I wanna tell you that the pandemic hasn't stopped our festival. In fact, it's amplified all the stories and we've reached way more uh, people than we ever could have imagined. Well, that's fantastic. It was actually what back in uh, 2013 that the festival came up with uh, Caribbean Tales TV and that turned out to be quite fortuitous because it's uh, virtual this year as it was last year. Yes, so our video on demand platform has definitely come in handy. We. Um, are so proud that we're able to take advantage of that and we are housing all of our films on CaribbeanTalesTV.com. Okay, I want to talk about one of the highlight films. We got a peek at it uh, last week, Becoming a Queen. You yes. chose that as your opener. Yes, yeah, so director uh, Chris Strikes has done an amazing job and we're also amplifying all of the Canadian Caribbean um, filmmakers this year. So to have that as our opening, we're so proud to have it uh, land in our laps as you can see the behind the scenes of Carnival, um, the embodiment of uh, the female body, um, and the journey of Carnival around the world brought to you right in your own home. Yes, it's such a tradition. When did it start? Late 60s, and of course, it's grown and grown and grown over the years, but really we just see the tip of the iceberg, you know, the final production, but there is so much behind the scenes and so much passion. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you know the story of, of Miss Joella Crichton, so she was on her ninth time yes. winning the queen and so the journey and all of the energy blood sweat and tears that goes into that you get to see both from in her home her personal family the journey that chris goes on with them to winning or or the the anticipation of winning for the 10th time so becoming a queen absolutely is an amazing story and i'm not sure it's ever been told Yes, we had uh, Chris on the show last week, and this was in uh, post-production around the time you were putting together this year's edition, so yeah. the timing was just perfect for you, wasn't it? It was excellent. I, I couldn't ask for anything else. This was perfect. To celebrate our Sweet 16 and for Joella to go through and, and seeing her journey to getting her 10th, yes, it, it's amazing. Yeah, so that's a great Canadian entry. Tell us about some of the other uh, offerings and uh, some of the international uh, movies that we can look forward to. Absolutely. So we have 17 countries that we're highlighting uh, from around the world in the Caribbean, and we have a Haitian themed night. So Bienvenue Haiti. Um, we are amplifying those voices. Um, in Haiti, they, they were able to have funding a few years ago uh, to support all the directors there. So we are highlighting about several films uh, from Haiti. We are also going to Puerto Rico, Aruba, uh, Martinique, Barbados. We have a Bayesian night. Mr. Raj Paul, um, we have so many films and again, there's 56 of them and you're getting a taste. So for those who haven't been able to travel, we are bringing the Caribbean um, and Africa to you right in your own home. So you can, you can see the flavors um, that have been curated from around the world. Fantastic. Uh, so uh, what do we need, an all access pass? It would be great. Um, an all access pass is, is $35. You can get it at CaribbeanTalesFestival.com or you can go straight to our video on demand platform at CaribbeanTalesTV.com. And if you're just interested in watching. We've got to go, but you know what? Kicks off on the 8th through the 24th. We'll link up the website at CHH.com. Thanks, Diana. Thank you.